bass resonator here continuing and finishing the owl project owl family project these are two larger molds I'm gonna use some spheres in them because they can they can accommodate but um, I colored them really differently I don't know if you can see inside there well look out here the wings are a coppery color the body is a no the wings are a bronze color the body is a copper the beak whey, wherever the beak is the beak is over here the beak is red and the eyes are gold and what I used was well, these uh, promarine so this is the wings eyes using golden koi I don't know if you saw these there you go and the beak is um, coral for the other owl I'm trying to make it the the shape of the head and everything makes it look sort of like a barn owl I know it's not exactly the face not quite but I colored it as a barn owl so for his face and his beak part of his face I use seashell and his belly area then to cause that little ring around um, his face I used this color gold to color the rest of his head and down his back I use golden yellow from prime crafting set of micas that I have which are no longer available and there's a really good set and they had a lot of mica in them I also used white around his face before I got like right around his beak I didn't want the beak blending in too much with the the rest of his face so I used white right around his eyes and his beak and then I used that seashell around that now this is white this looks kind of white but it comes out kind of goldish and then that gold ring and his eyes are green and I use the dark green because I looked at a picture online and it looks like green eyes so I'll have big pupils in there but and then on his wings I use light gray but in that light gray I also flick some colors of gold so that it will um, have the spotty effect that the barn owls have so yeah a lot of colors it took me a while to do it um, I didn't think you needed to see me do all of that but if you look in there you can see, possibly see the green eyes um, yeah so I'm gonna stand these guys because they have a tendency to lean and this one leans the other way so I'm gonna lean them into each other yes um, now um, get some of these smaller spheres I mean they're not bad spheres but I don't really have any purpose for that color this one was kind of cool looking but again nothing and this one um, I hope those don't show through the color of mica that I'm gonna put in there but I want to make sure that I have um, I, I really like that that effect but um, the galaxy but um, I want to make sure that these um, that I'm not leaving behind a whole bunch of um, resin that I didn't use you know I want to be able to use it all up and not leave it out actually I, should, I can actually use a bigger one look at that one bum, bum, bum. this guy's got a bigger body than the other guy a wider body it sounds like I'm talking about myself <laughs> And that was just downright ugly. Pull that little guy out. Put this guy in. Did that change the shape of it? Yeah, that's too big. Too many big ones in there will change the shape of the owl's body, and I don't want that to happen. But it, when I start putting resin in, I know they're going to start wanting to lean, so that's why I got them going against, going with each other. 
Okay, let me look for a few other components to put in that second one. Okay, I found a couple more things, odds and ends. Put them in there. Uh, now I'm going to use some deep pour resin and get that mixed up. And I'm going to make it um, uh, I don't want to go gold. I don't want to go white. I want to go more of a tan. Just a second. I'll come right back. Good thing I'm not sponsored by any one company because I'd get in trouble. Because um, I got Promarine, Let's Resin, and now Eye Candy. This is what I'm going to use. I said I wasn't going to use gold, but this is more of a brownish gold. So that's what I'm going to use in these. And I think it'll um, augment the colors that I, I dusted them with. So I'll mix up some resin and put that in there and and then I'll be back. Okay, I mix that Koga Gold up. Get this Kleenex handy. I'm gonna pour in a little bit and then squish it around and jiggle and wiggle and Whoa. get down in there. Get down in there. Mm -hmm. Down in there. Do any of you know how many take how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Tootsie Roll Pop? Let's ask the wise owl. One, two, three. Three is the answer. Old fun commercials. Now that was in the United States. I don't know if those commercials happen anywhere else. I do remember them. I may not have mixed up enough. I mixed up 10 ounces. Let's get one full and then I'll mix up the other. Almost got it right. Need about another ounce max. Okay. Well, you've seen enough of this. I got a little bit of over right there. But I know it's going to pull back as it starts to cure. And if it doesn't do enough, I'll just do some cuticle, cute cuticle surgery when it's all done. Okay, come back at you when we have the unmolding time. Or the unmolting time. <laughs> I kill me. Yep. Okay, these are cured up and it's kind of funny. This one, um, a little piece of filler that I had thrown in there came up and poked its head out and this one too. Uh, I can sand those down. That's that's not a big deal. So let's do the unmolding, the unmolding, the unmolding. Bum, 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 bum. Got a little bit of overfill right there. I knew I had some, but I didn't know. Ay, ay, ay. Come on now. This is the barn owl. Hey. Cool. 
Yeah, there's the overflow right there. And between his toes, I'll be able to get that middle section pulled out. Yeah. Cool. I'll just need to touch up his beak a little bit and put the the pupils. Can't really tell the difference between the seashell and the light gold and the gold <laughs> or the golden yellow and gold. That's okay. That's very okay. I can sort of see it right there, but okay. So there's one. Let me turn this mold back. Oh, just <laughs> I was just gonna. <laughs> I was just going to take it to the easiest spot and that meant pull it away to where my hands were not behind the um, the uh, tripod and nope then you'd not be able to see what I'm doing Ooh, that copper wing or bronze metal wing I, I got a glimpse of it already Look at that. Dun, dun, dun. I got some overflow on his toes as well. Check that out. I'll get some stills of these. These are nice, 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 nice. That little guy weighs a ton. He's short, short and fat, not too pretty. 12 ounces. This guy weighs eight and a half ounces. But the detail on these feathers, goodness. Really cool. I'll take pictures of these guys by themselves and then I'll put the whole family together. Yeah. The owl family has come to a conclusion. Bottom. Okay, thank you to my supporters, my subscribers, my friends, my family, and everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you for following along. This is a lot of fun. Uh, I got some cool projects in mind for later this week. I'm trying to clean that stuff off the the mat uh, and I got a bunch of stuff here to put away but yeah mold to clean up but this is thank you thank you so much